welcome back guys today we're talking about following your purpose but not in like the weird Disney idea not that weird who gave us this idea you got to follow your passion you got to follow your purpose where did this come from I don't know I just don't think it's right because I know nature nature doesn't really care about your purpose it doesn't care if you have if you're following your passion a lot of guys ask me this I hear it I think this is a huge thing going on with guys. Guys lack purpose and they're fearful. Two main things. And that is just a recipe for a disaster. And they're poor, all right? I mean, look, I just saw the Joker film. I thought it was okay. The acting's great, but it was kind of boring. It wasn't that dark, all right? I'm not trying to be, you know, outside of the... It, it was good, but it just wasn't that serious. You know what would have made Joker uh, not have to go and bash people's heads in? If he had a little bit of money. And he, he wasn't living with his mother. <laughs> I know he's taking care of his mom, but come on. I mean, it was sort of laid out that maybe the Joker and Bruce Wayne could have been brothers at times. Look at Bruce Wayne, richest kid in the city. He's doing all right. You know, he probably had a little bit of that cuckoo in him. But he's doing better than this other guy broke, mental illness, made fun of. You know, look at how he's living. No purpose. Uh, so let me just tell you the guys this nature doesn't care. It does not care about you nature created you as a Homo sapien a little ape walking around the world you used to probably die off at about age 32 You weren't supposed to live long. You weren't supposed to get older now. Now we have medicine now We have all of these different things that keep you alive Keep the cancer away. Keep the AIDS and HIV down uh, You're not supposed to live that long If you're surviving you're winning Okay, so nature innately gave it to you to your only purpose in this life was to keep surviving as long as you can. That's it. That's all that you, that's the only purpose there is. And you guys need to understand that because you can't be weighed down with this idea of constantly, what is my purpose? No, your purpose is to survive and then once you get this down, now you can start moving up. You ever seen the Maslow's hierarchy of needs? You have at the very bottom, you have these basic needs. Eat, shelter, uh, food, water, you know? Stuff like that. Slowly you can build up. Eventually love, relationships, mastery, self-actualization. It starts by covering the first base. Now let me tell you this. What ends up happening a lot of times is once you get the first base covered... And you start to have some more money. You start to change your environment. What happens is that you start to find your purpose. As you dip your hands into something, your purpose sort of reveals itself to you. Look, look what about guys like Joe Rogan? Did Joe Rogan ever think that his purpose was to have the biggest podcast on earth? No. He was a TV show host. I'm sure that wasn't his purpose. UFC fighter uh, host. That was in his purpose. Look at it. He's done like three, um, a lot of different things. I'm noticing groups of three, by the way, in, the, in a lot of the guys we're going to talk about. Elon Musk. Tesla. Solar energy. SpaceX. Not, come on. One after the other. Wants to dig underground tunnels. He did not set out thinking, this is my purpose. He sur simply was curious. He discovered. He, he kept going. The next one, Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson, for most of his life, he was just a, a professor, psychologist. Now he went on YouTube. Kind of curious, started recording. People love him. Now he's an author. Now he's going around speaking. Okay, that's just, that's an example. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Was his purpose to be the best basketball player? Yeah, it was. But then he tried baseball. He realized, I'm not too good at baseball. Come back. <laughs> Wins his rings, retires. Now what? Okay, deal with Nike. Do this. Do Hanes commercials. The purpose is always evolving. One of my favorites, Arnold Schwarzenegger. The guy literally had nothing. Came from nothing. Came over to the States. Decided, hey, I'm going to be the best bodybuilder in the world. Does it. Becomes the governor of California. Was that in the game plan? I don't think so becomes uh 
becomes the governor of California, becomes an actor. That was not in the game plan, man. Like, the purpose is revealed to you as you set on the journey. And so I'll tell you guys this. A lot of you are not sure of the purpose, but what you're letting get in the way is you're too afraid to do the thing like that, that is right in front of you. The obstacle is the way. Okay, you got to break down that obstacle. If you were to use the fear as a compass, and I think this is very useful in the beginning, if you have nothing, very low value, just kind of unsure what to do, if you're afraid, in the beginning, use that fear to kind of point you to what you need to do. Like as a kid, man, I knew that, okay, I'm really scared of like talking to random people. I feel anxious, okay? And, but I, I knew that I need to make that better. If I wanted to climb the ladder, sort of get the status up, get some control. I needed to make that better. So what I did is I went to the fear and it sounds very hard, but at least you know what to do. So, okay, I'm going to at least start small. I'm going to say hi to the cash register. I'm going to say, I'm going to say hi to the lady walking her dog. I'm going to at least smile at her. I'm going to at least make eye contact. Okay. That repetition is what gets you better. You just practice, practice, practice. You start getting smarter. You start getting more aware. You see patterns, right? You start stay curious, man. You guys got to stay curious, go where the fear is. And then figure out ways, learn ways to get better. Okay, that simple. Don't give up so easily. Don't be, don't be half, half an ass this stuff, man. It's not worth it. Go in there and go where the fear is. Okay, that's all I got to say. You know, I like Eminem, rapper, said, success is the only option. Failure is not. Failure is not an option. Okay, some of you guys are at a point where, you know, you... You could just keep failing. You live in your mom's house. Your dad and mom are pretty well off. You're just living off their money. They're funding your college. You know, you never really had to fail. In that line, he says, man, success is my only option. I got Haley over here. I got to support the family. I got kids. I got, you know, everyone's looking up to me. It's like, I can't fail. A lot of you guys, you know, need to just burn the ships. Success is the only option. Failure's not. You can't fail. A lot of you guys are just living comfortable lives. It's making you miserable, depressed because you're never, never actually taking and making big moves. You're not taking a big step. The purpose is to survive, okay? The purpose is to survive. So as we're trying to do this, we need to talk about money. You guys got to be making money. That's the very first thing. It's what you need. We should be able to talk about money confidently. And not be scared. I don't care about anything you learned in the past. Oh, you don't need money. Oh, the Bible says it's harder for a rich man to get to heaven. Uh, he's, it says that, but it doesn't say it's impossible. It's not impossible. You need money. Okay? You want to help other people, you need money. Unless you're going to go Mother Teresa. Money's going to allow you more access to things. It's going to allow you control. It's going to allow you to change your environment. It's going to allow you to, to buy your own land. Okay? So... It, you need to start working. You need to start developing skills. If you're going to college, go to college, focus in. Okay, if you're older, you know, it's never too late to stay curious, start experimenting, building a business. Um, you know, just, I would say stay curious, man. Insatiable curiosity. Put down the distractions that are hindering you from being a curious individual. Call of Duty Mobile, 100 million downloads. You know how much time is going to get wasted on Call of Duty on your phone? And that's such a distraction. That's an hour a day. Let's just say an hour a day. Two hours a day out of your day where you could be reading. You could be curious. You could be thinking and working on something else that makes your life better. It's going to help you, you know, go up from just survival to actually greatness. Now you're stuck here, 100 million people playing a game, right? Playing a game paying for it, playing for a digital gun. It's like, we got to get our priorities right. There's an old prophetic saying, it's like, in your vineyard, watch the foxes. And when you see a fox, make sure you get rid of it. You can't have one fox. Because what one fox will do is slowly eat away at the vines. You let multiple foxes in, they start, you know, they start mating, start having little fox babies, they eat your vineyard. You'll have no vineyard. You can't let the devil in. 
If the devil comes in in these little ways, you start drinking more on Fridays, you start smoking a little bit, you're playing more video games, you stop your reading, you stop, you leave behind all the habits, you start jerking off, you start watching all this junk. It's like, watch the food, you start eating terrible food, you start getting sorry for yourself, you start experiencing emotions you don't usually have, you don't feel very confident, you let the devil in. Don't let the devil in, man. Do not let the devil in, I'm telling you. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna like block you from progress. So, look, a lot of you, are, oh, money, money. Listen, money. You need money. We need to talk about this. So you're working, you're developing skills, you're going to school, you're focused. Okay, good. How much do you need? A lot of you guys think that you'll never have enough. Let me tell you this. I live in Ohio. I rent an apartment for six hundred dollars a month. Okay. Electric's like what, 20? Gas for my stove, 20, 30 bucks. Not that expensive. So maybe 1,500, two grand. I can live like a king for just myself. I don't have kids. Now if I had kids and a wife, then okay, I'm gonna have to put in a little bit more work. I'm gonna have to go to work a little bit extra, a little more horsepower. But for a lot of you guys, you're single, you're, you're, you can move out. You, If you're in California, it's expensive there, man. Get the hell out of there. You don't need to be there. Bunch of Looney Tunes out there too. Right? I'm in Ohio. I'm living good. Cheap. And you know what? I, As I make more money, I don't upgrade my lifestyle that quick. Because that's just a recipe for disaster. A lot of people upgrade too quick. Now they're buying the newest, the fresh brim. You know, they're buying the, the newest uh, cologne. I don't know. They're buying, they're trying to like make their style seem like they're better than they are. It's not about how much money you make. My old mentor, his name was Halal. He, he died a few years ago. He used to always say people, he had a Ferrari, owned six different restaurants. He said, how much, you know, people always ask me this. They say, how much do you make? I say, don't ask me how much I make. Ask me how I live. And he lived a good life. He had a daughter, he had a family. He had a nice house, but it wasn't huge. He, he, he lived, he could eat, you know, good food, but he didn't eat to, 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 you know, uh, gluttony. He was a good person. People loved him. Right? So you don't need that much. You can move to a different state. 600 here, man. I bought the car. You know, cheap car. It gets me around. It's like, what else? I got groceries, cell phone. You pay for internet. Like, you don't need that much stuff. So if you really get depressed by working for someone else, you need to take the extra time that you have, you know, and, and put it into finding different ways. You got to stay hungry, man. Success is the only option. You're getting too comfortable. The devil has come in. You sat back and you let the devil in. All right? And it's ruining your freaking life. You got to rip them out. You got to uninstall the apps. You got to fucking throw, burn the bridges. You got to take your shit seriously. That's it. Because no one's coming to help you. No one's going to be like, oh, man, you're afraid? Oh, you're afraid of doing this? Oh, here, come here, man. It's, you know, we're all afraid. No, no one cares. Go where the fear is. You're not going to get anywhere. No one cares that you're afraid, man. I've, I've been seeing this too much. I don't know my purpose. Oh, man, I'm anxious around girls. I'm not making fun of you guys. I know how this is. I was there. But I'm saying it's a difference in mentality of, okay, I'm going to make this better. Or a lot of you guys are just checking out. Oh, I'm bald and I'm, my, my looks. I'm, I'm receding. Oh, man, I don't like how my height is. Dude. Do what you can, all right? Damage control what you can with your looks. Get a haircut. Put some gel in your hair. You know, C clean yourself up. Do do what you can. Uh, it's not that hard. Stop making excuses for failure, okay? That's got to be said. Stop making excuses for failure. And look, you got to change the way you're thinking. It's like, I'm not going to just continue being okay with failure, with letting the fear get the best of me, you have to step up, okay? And you have to keep surviving. This makes you the better man. This makes you the ubermensch, all right? Survival of the fittest, or else you're just gonna die out and you give up. I don't wanna see you guys do that, all right? So make a decision today. Let's get it, man. Let's go. I'll see you guys soon. Oh. Join the free group.
All right, join the free group down below, Facebook group. We're going to post some books. This, the next two weeks, we've been reading uh, Snowden. Speaking of Snowden, look at that guy. You think, his, you think his purpose was to give us undercover info on the NSA? I don't think so. All right, you think that was his purpose? I don't think he knew what was coming. He was just a simple kid trying to join the army and program, and then he ends up getting in deep. I don't think that was his purpose at all. Change the world. All right. But uh, that's it, man. Get in the Facebook group. We're reading books. We're helping each other out. We're working out. We're doing the habits. It's free. So get in. All right. You guys, anything I'm here for you. Let's fucking go, dude. I'll see you soon.